Oh my god, look at my new ship. It's so awesome. It's such a tanker. Look at this. It's the best ever. I bet you wish you So today I'm going to give you 10 tips to help you with No Man's Sky while showing you my favorite new star system where four out of the five planets are so beautiful in their own way. If they ever add a search bar in the galactic star system, be sure to type in Limosegesdo. Actually, that's going to be the first tip. Use galaxy waypoints. If you're anything like me, you sometimes want to retrace your steps. Maybe you like a certain planet, or you're more favorable with the intelligent alien race in that system so things are cheaper. For whatever reason, use waypoints so that you know how to get back. Trust me, going over two star systems without a waypoint, and I assure you, you'll never find it again. Now, you can't place a waypoint until you move out from that system, so just temporarily place a waypoint on a system right next to your current one, then change it to the correct system once you warp to your new destination. Learn to travel fast. Now, I'm sure this is catching on quickly, but just in case you aren't aware, you can travel on foot much, much faster than sprinting by pressing the melee button, then quickly pressing and holding your jetpack button, almost at the same time. That's how close they have to be pressed together. Be sure to space it out to make it last longer. This is a bit easier with a scuff controller, but don't fret, because you can't change directions while doing this maneuver anyways. But before the next one, let's start heading over to Agatagano. Absolutely love this planet. It's beautiful, and they're just going to keep getting better and better, I promise. Dismantle parts. There are two ways to get a new ship, at least that I know of. Either you buy one, or repair a crashed one. Be sure to dismantle your old ship upgrades to get those precious, hard-to-find elements to help you rebuild those parts in your new ship. This is especially important when you're repairing a ship and you have to stay stuck on that planet until you get the engines back up and running. Now how does one find a crash ship? I'm glad you asked. Spam bypass keys. I'm sure you've seen the orange beacons of light that require these keys and they give you points of interest nearby. The keys are super easy to make. Be sure to spam that beacon and get as many points of interest that you can handle. If you want a drop pod that will upgrade your exosuit, or a location of a crash ship, then this is what you want to do. Specifically the shelter option. Just keep selecting it until you get that drop pod location. Learn Greek numbers. The various upgrades for your suit, ship, and multi-tool are vast and a bit confusing especially if you don't know Greek letters. Like me. This might be different for you or the exact same way so this is, this is what I got so far. Theta is the first tier. Sigma is the second tier, and Tau is the third. Also, you can just take a look at the materials needed to make that upgrade. The more rare the material, then the higher the quality. So if you have a Sigma plus three and a Tau plus one for the boosting your ship's shields, for instance, then understand that Tau is on another level entirely. Okay, next up on our trip is Dizanjilno. I really, really like this planet. I have a feeling you guys are going to like it too. Don't touch that beacon. Now, let's say you come to a nice outpost that you like. It has a trade terminal and everything. How do you find it later after some exploring? Well, easy. Don't touch the waypoint beacon. These beacons do three things. They save your progress, same as getting out of your ship. They record that you have discovered that piece of land. And they remove the waypoints so that you never ever find this place again. I mean, these planets are the size of real planets, so it's easy to go exploring and never find these outposts again. But in case you do lose the location of one, you can be sure that there will be plenty more to find on whatever planet you're on. Just need a bit of patience and bypass keys. Rename planets smartly. If there is a really rare element on your current planet, then rename it that element. Don't worry about ruining the alien authenticity of the name of said planet, because no one will ever see it, and it doesn't matter because it's just a planet. They don't matter. Know your upgrades. Now, while your ship, suit, and multi-tool all have the same inventory system, they don't all upgrade the same way. With ships, again, you can either buy or repair a crashed one, which is more fun and a lot cheaper. Your suit needs drop pods, and you purchase the extra slots one at a time after the first free one. 
and your multi tool is usually found by traders or other means. Also, you can get exosuit slots once you start getting the Atlas cards, but I haven't gotten that far myself at the time of this video. I have too much fun on these planets and just never leave. Shoot space rocks. Now let's say you have trouble finding some rare elements and you've looked on all the planets with no luck. Well, shoot space rocks. And no, not the little ones containing thamium. I mean the big ones. You can get things like iridium, copper, and nickel that are tough to find down on the planets. Which leads to number 10. Neutrino matrix what? There are two computer parts you may or may not have had as much trouble as I have in finding these parts for upgrades. That's because I'm not an aggressive player like some of you. I'm an explorer. Well, you get the neutrino modules from the Sentry Galaxy Police. You see, they drop these soda cans that contain the modules after you destroy them. Then you have the dimensional matrix parts that I've only seen come from the Sentry Dogs that you may have seen. I found the easiest way to get these guys to even bother to come out to attack you is to scan the area and look for a bright lime green icon with an exclamation point on it. That basically means that if you take that item, that the galaxy police will be on you very quickly. And they'll send their dogs after you too. So do that and take everyone out and loot the soda cans they drop. Easy. Easy. Bonus tip. Yeah, that's right, bonus tip. But before that, I need to show you this last planet. That's probably my most favorite. Doesn't look like much, huh? Well, that's what I love about this planet. It's that it's deceptively ugly at night. But during the day, you see so much green and colors and animals everywhere. I just love it. Okay, so enough goofing around, what's the last tip? So this last one may have quite a bit of you confused about how to do it, which is how to repair your ship. See, your ship has the same system as your character. You have shields that recharge very slowly, and health that does not come back. Well, after getting beat up by space pirates, you may notice you didn't replenish your shields in time, and your shield's health is very low. How do you fix it? Well. Just go to a trader, and he will offer it to you for an item. No, you say? It's not an option, you say? That's fine. See, the traders actually cycle through different options every time you give them carbon to talk to them. And you can't back out and go back in because the options won't change. So just select the one you want, and the next time you talk to them, they will have a different set of options. Keep doing this until you see the option for repair. For the Gex, you need a Gek Relic. Well, that's it for today, guys. Hope you enjoyed. If I missed a tip you were hoping to see or got something wrong, then be sure to leave a comment below. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. My name is Chit, and I approve this message.